Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about Zoom backgrounds. If you make these backgrounds, they're relatively easy to make. You can consider they're easily done. It uses some creativity if you want to. They're fun and they can be formed from online backgrounds, pictures that you already have, or you can build them using a PowerPoint slide. So we're going to go over both of those, or at least the last two in this session. Now, the main thing you got to figure out is where do you want the background? Do you want it on the left side of the person, which is typically in the center? Do you want it in the center above their head? Or do you want it on the right side of them? There's one other option, which could be basically full screen behind the speaker, but it's up to you. It's what you really want. Here are some examples of some previously built backgrounds. Some I've built, some I didn't. This is one that was pretty simple. We used our badge uh, that was issued to us to make a background so the applicants, the testing applicants could tell the tester from the examiners. So pretty simple right here. This is another background that someone made that shows all of the examiners with the same background. Real straightforward, some logo on black, looks real good. This is one I developed. It, this is a ham radio club. I took the logo from the letterhead, put it on here. You gotta be real cognizant of whether you flip, flipping your image or not. So you have to try it before you actually use it. And I put it on the uh, left side in this image, but on the right side behind me. Here's one where I put it on three sides. This is for another organization where we time the speakers. And this just let everyone know that I was the one keeping time that particular meeting. Here's a variation. I use a logo here, a couple logos, and then I put timer in real big letters. And you can see how this looks on the next slide. You got timer here, and you got the logo here. You can see it'll have room on the sides. So you can see the clock a little bit here. And just as a side point, this is a virtual background here. I'm not sure if she acquired this or if she built this from a resort she was at. Okay, so let's build a couple of backgrounds and look at the different ways you can have them displayed. Okay, here we have a picture of a bonsai tree and you need to determine whether you want it on the left side, in the center, on the right side, or full scale. Let's go to edit view so we can manipulate this baby. And for the time being, let's just move it to the, to the, well, first thing I want to do is make a couple of copies. And if you use paste special, keep source formatting, well, right now we don't have a background. But if we go back, crop it a little bit. that could be your background or you could have it in the center using the ruler helps make sure it's all the way to the top so when you go back to slideshow view you can preview it or you could have it all the way to the right Just whatever you'd really like. Now, if you wanted a full, if you wanted a full slide or a full screen, you could do something like this. And I have text on the side like I did, or you could <clears throat> go with the original one and just pull it, pull it past the bright edge 
and then slide it over to where it's somewhat centered. And that's not so bad right there. So you have options. Where do you want it? Left, center, right, or full slide. This is from a coffee bar. This one would look real good full, full scale or full slide. And then when you go to, you get most of the cups, you kind of cut off a little bit on this edge, but who's really counting? You can always slide it up a little bit. And that white edge at the bottom probably, probably will not be noticed, but to fix that. Okay, let's bring this back in to where it's on the slide. With the edge. Now what you could do, you could pull the image and no one really cares that the cups are distorted a little bit. And you have a full slide of your coffee cups. Let's make another one of those. And as we did earlier, you can reduce this and have this on the left side, the center. You notice how this lines up with zero, so you know you're centered. Or on the far right, really depends on what you want to do. It, that's where your creativity comes in and you need to figure out what it is you like. You also can have different versions. You could have one on the left, you could have one on the right, just name them differently, maybe coffee cup one, coffee cup two, or maybe better yet, coffee cup left, so to show that it's on the left side, I guess it'd be over, I guess it'd be over, over here, on the, be on the left side of you, and then coffee cup right would be over here, and then coffee cup center, or coffee cup full. So just, you could have lots of variations of the Zoom backgrounds in the Zoom program, depending on your mood. So we've gone over full scale or full slide. Here's full slide. Here's to the right. There is to the left, and that's about center right there. So it's real easily done. I went online and typed in free virtual backgrounds, and a lot of choices came up. So you could you could do that. You could take pictures around your house. You could take pictures outdoors, or you could build your own image based on your vision that you see in PowerPoint, like we did, like we showed you earlier. So as far as a generalization, Zoom backgrounds can be inspiring, educational, who's the timer, who's not the timer, who's the speaker, they could be informational, it could be fun, it uses your artistic creativity, which way do you want it? You want it on the left, you want it on the right, centered, full slide, maybe a combination. They're easily done. It allows for variations. And as I said, it can be centered or offset. So play with those. Let me know if you have any questions. It's pretty easily done. Just save your PowerPoint file as a JPEG, JPG, and then you can import it into Zoom and have your new background. Take care.